So, hi. <laughs> Today we are talking about self-sabotage. And I'm going to use a personal example because I think you will be able to relate to it. So I was just driving home from my new job and I was asking my subconscious mind, what specifically is it, Jacqueline, that is keeping you from posting singing videos? I have sang my whole life. It's my pride and joy. My biggest aspiration, other than being like a wedding singer or a wedding planner, is to be a singer and a worship singer. Okay, so I was asking myself on my drive home to make sure, you have to check in with yourself. For, for me, hey Em, it's all about living your purpose. So if I am uh, having like a, a regular day job and I don't feel like I'm living my purpose, I feel stifled, I feel heartbroken, um, my soul hurts. Like I have to make sure that I'm living my purpose. And one of my purposes, other than helping people, and that's why I've been doing coaching for four years, one of my purposes is impact. And I know how music moves certain people. And, <clears throat> and I do believe that Justin Bieber is going to lead a nationwide revival where he evangelizes not only America, but every single country. I think God is going to use Justin Bieber and you heard it here first. God is going to use Justin Bieber to make disciples and believers and more Christians across our nation. But today I wanted to talk specifically about self-sabotage and give you four questions that you can ask your subconscious mind to help you figure out how you can get out of your own way. How do I stop self-sabotaging? How do I get unstuck? How do I get out of my own way from holding myself back? Because guess what? You're not doing it. Your subconscious mind is doing it. This is how the world works. 95% of your life is your subconscious mind. Um, the girls are playing. I tried to snag hope, but you'll just have to deal with the, the cameo for now. Oh, hey, Dennis. Love you. Okay, so what I was saying is about self-sabotage. I just figured this out on my way home, and I want to give you, as an NLP practitioner, which means that I'm a board-certified life and success coach. Hey, Sunny. Hey, Corey. One of them just, like, slammed the door. <laughs> the girls are, like, running in the background. Okay, so basically I'm an expert at the subconscious mind, and that's a mixture of studying human behavior, that's a mixture of studying body language, verbal and nonverbal communications, that's what I am, is chief communications officer. Above all, even above a marketer, which I've been doing for eight years, even above a psychology, which I also have a degree in, my number one thing is communicating. So some of that involves communicating with yourself, and that's why I had an interest in, hey swag champ, and communicating with yourself, that's why I had an interest in being able to communicate and discover what is going on in your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind is what is holding you back. That's why we have to make whatever is going on subconsciously, we have to bring it to the forefront, making it conscious. Oh my God! Hey Stacey, I love you! Oh my gosh, you make me like so happy that I came live. <laughs> and hope's in the background. Okay. So what I was going to say is I figured this out on the way home. I'm driving home from my job and I'm like, okay, I don't want to just have a job or just work. I want to be like meaningful in the world, be impactful. I want to make sure that I'm living my core value of impact, family, and purpose. And so I was like, you know, the, the only thing that I'm not doing right now, because I know that I could be, do, and have so much more. And I know that you know that about yourself too. The only thing that I'm not doing that I could easily do is to start singing, posting a, a song, a singing video every single day. And I was like, why? Why do we hold ourselves back? And I use myself as an example. Why am I holding myself back from posting a singing video tonight? Why don't I post a singing video every single day? And so I'm probing my subconscious mind. You have to ask your subconscious mind better questions. That's how you get it unfucked up, untwisted. And this is what people mean when they say that I've been reprogramming my subconscious mind. You have to insert new beliefs in there because the world is literally programming us all day and night with scarcity. I can tell you that much is that there's so much love in the world, but there's also the opposite. And we have to tune out 
and quiet down the volume on the negative, on anything that is not godlike, on anything that is fear-based instead of love-based. So here's the four questions that you can ask your subconscious mind to help you get unstuck and start taking action on the thing that is really gonna fulfill you and start living your purpose. Number one, and we'll just use my singing video as an example. I, I was asking my subconscious mind, and I'm teaching you subconscious questioning here, and this is what I meant about you have to ask yourself better questions. So the main point is, and we can use my, why don't I make singing videos every day? Like what's holding me back? What's stopping me? And I realized it's one of four things. It's either a belief or a habit or a distraction or a confusion. That is what is standing in the way of what we want in life. What is keeping me from being this person who wants it to this person who has it? Well, what is that area in between? How do I stop? How do I stop self-sabotaging? Self How do I become that person who doesn't self-sabotage, at least not in this area anymore, right? Because most of the time you're working on one area at a time. I spent my entire 20s working on healing my childhood trauma and uh, from my parents and being in relationships. I didn't spend time working on my body. There's a lot of women that I know who spent their entire 20s working on their body and they're miserable in relationships. That's called economics. There's an opportunity cost to everything. And um, I wasn't focusing on certain areas of my life. I was focusing on others. And that's why people are ahead or behind in certain areas of their life. Nobody usually gets it right all at once. They have the perfect body, the perfect money, and the perfect, perfect relationships. In coaching, there's three major areas, love, money, and health. And I don't want to uh, blab. Here's the question that you ask yourself. What is it? So what's holding me back from posting singing videos? Is it a belief? Is it a habit? Is it a confusion, like I have a lack of clarity on why I'm even singing in the first place? Like I don't know what I value about it. I have a lack of clarity, so that's confusion. Or I have distraction. So maybe, hey, I'm not posting singing videos because I'm with my boyfriend at night. So what is it? What is filling the time? So if you're not posting singing videos, what are you doing? And it's either a belief, a habit. A belief would be like, Nobody wants to hear me sing, so I'm not going to post singing videos. Um, or a belief could be, I'm underqualified to be uh, a singer. Okay, so these are beliefs. Or number two, it could be habits, such as I have the habit of blowing off my dreams, which leads to feeling bad about not going after my dreams, which leads to continuing to not post singing videos. Is it a confusion or a lack of clarity? Like, I don't know what I value about the situation, so I can't prioritize it. Let me give you an example on that one. Maybe there's confusion about what you value about healthy, about health. Thanks for the likes, swag champ. What I mean by that is maybe you're trying to get yourself to go to the gym three times a week, and you're like, logically, I know it's good for me. Like it's, it's good for injury prevention. It's good to be strong. I want to keep mu lean muscle mass on me. So logically, you know, it's good for you, but you might also have some confusion subconsciously about, wait, why is the gym good for you? I, I think I look fine. So am I doing this for uh, physical reasons? Or then you could also be confused about, hey, I actually don't, here's something I learned about myself. I don't actually value going to the gym right now. I actually value going to the gym because I want to have children and I want to be healthy for them. So that's what I value. I don't actually value working out. I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. I don't value working out three times a week. But what I do value when I take away the confusion, what I do value about the situation is that I'll be a healthier mom. So you have to forget if you might have confusion around something that's important to you or an important goal that you want to do and you might have confusion around it which is creating mental noise and it's basically creating the fourth thing which is a distraction and then the distraction might be that not only do you have a confusion present so when there, where there's confusion present there can't be clarity present and clarity is what helps people take action and make behavior change and change their life having clarity having clarity and conviction and courage right 
So I wanted to give you those four questions to ask yourself in order to stop self-sabotaging. Please let me know if they help you and I will see you on the next one. Hi, love you. Swag Champ says, I got the belief in you. Thank you, goddess. Oh, Ellen was here. Summer babes. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Sunny liked the live. Swag Champ with the finger heart. Oh, my God. You're so sweet. Thank you. I love you, Jackie. <gasps> Sunny says, I was literally just talking to myself about this. Oh, my God. We've always been so connected. It's crazy. Oh my gosh, Fiona says, I've been wanting to post singing and I've been afraid, so thank you. Oh, uh, this is such a divine message for both of us. Oh my gosh, that's insane. That is literally too specific. I'm so glad that I could share a word with you. Talk to you soon, Fiona. Keep up with me about how is it going. Let's both post a singing video today. How about that? Love you, goddesses. Talk to you on the next one.